Today we are going to continue our discussion on ancillary equipment around sewage sludge dryers by discussing dried sludge conveyance and storage. Some dryers require cooling conveyors in order to cool the sludge for safe storage. Some dryers also use rotary valves in order to limit the air intrusion into the dryers. Without a rotary valve, a larger odor control system may be required. Next, the sludge will head to dry sludge conveyance. Pneumatic, screw, chain and bucket, and tubular drag conveyors have been used in the past. It's important to consider items like the distance and direction of the flow, integration with storage systems, maintenance, explosive dust, hazard mitigation, as well as cost when you look at dried sludge conveying systems. After the conveyance system, we go to a dry sludge storage system. This can consist of silos, holding areas, truck loadout, or super sack systems. It's important to consider the footprint and height you have available, the disposal method that you will use, equipment available such as trucks and loaders, and finally the complexity of the system. If you have questions on dried sludge storage, please reach out to me at the contact information provided. Also, please like, follow, and subscribe to our social media.